Today we're going to revisit the Preamp, an urban-oriented reversible seat model from Cybex, with which I've always had a bit of a love-hate relationship, appreciating certain aspects of its mechanical design, while also generally feeling it to be a bit overpriced. We did a full review of the Preamp a few years ago, but since it's been updated in the interim, we felt it was time to have another look, to give a fresh overview of what the model is in terms of child comfort, ease of use, performance and longevity, and explore how it stands up currently in relation to the wider market. And starting out with the seat, this is the area of the Preamp that's really changed the most over the years, with the current model having easier to remove textiles and a redesigned harness where the tightness of the straps can be adjusted via a pull strap at the end of the baseboard as with a car seat. Beyond these updates, the Lux seat has a decent upright position, a full flat recline position, a canopy that provides decent sun coverage, and seat dimensions of 30 centimeters in width and 101 centimeters in total length, which will be comfortable for most children up until around three to three and a half. The Preamp seat on its own is usable for newborns, but for those interested in getting the bassinet, I'd like to note that it's also been updated, with increased ventilation, and in that it now connects to the chassis via the same adapters used for Cybex car seats, which raises the elevation a bit. As far as parent comfort is concerned, the Preamp is a legitimately full-sized model, with a weight of almost 13 kilos and folding down to 81 by 51.5 by 31.5 centimeters, which is something to be aware of, both if you have space and carrying concerns, as well as because the main draw of the model is its looks, as opposed to its performance. Not that it performs badly, mind you, but just in that you can get more for this size and weight from other models, in my opinion. Where, first mechanically, despite having several areas of strong manufacture, I particularly like the build of the central folding joint, other elements, including the handle and the front forks as they connect to the chassis, are a bit loosely fitted, giving the model a tendency to loosen up a bit quicker in my experience than several other comparable models at the top end of the market. Secondly, in terms of driving, the Preamp is very much a city model, capable, with its now nearly 8-inch front wheels, of tackling cobblestones, gravel paths, and snow, but at the same time, hampered by its rather minimalistic suspension from being a real off-roader. And lastly, the more fashion-oriented focus of the model comes out in several smaller details as well, stuff like the shopping basket, which flips open for larger storage, but still holds a bit less stash than a more reinforced open basket might, as well as with the slightly awkward fold in the way they handle telescopes through the central hub, which leaves the folded package a bit longer than it needs to be in my opinion. When it comes to longevity, despite the most common problem experienced over time being just a general loosening of the chassis, I'd like to note that I have worked with a few more serious problems as well, both with the Lux seat frame and the handle, and while issues here are not so common as to call any of the Preamp's components poorly designed or badly manufactured, when they do fail, it's important to note that the repair or replacement costs are generally a lot higher with this model than with a lot of its competitors. Since Cybex neither provides an extended guarantee, nor do they offer access to smaller components of the chassis or seat frame, which to me isn't the premium experience I generally expect from a stroller whose price is higher than most other top-end brands, many of whom offer more accommodating after-sales service. And in the end then, looking at the model afresh leaves me with more or less the same verdict that I've always had about the Preamp, and that's that, with the one exception of people who really want that better-than-average adjustability of the Lux seat, the Preamp remains mainly a style purchase, performing acceptably for urban use, but a bit too high-priced to really compete on anything other than its looks. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe or even hit the donate button if you're so inclined, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.